Hey, McCain Fourth Parents, this is Mr. Pete, obviously, you can see me. I just wanted to send a quick video out to all of you to talk to you about the Mighty Memoir. You're going to be getting a bunch of these over the next five weeks or so between now and the time that it's due, both talking about what's due and when and just letting you guys know that um, we're working on a lot of it here, but also you have an opportunity to work on a bit of it at home. And... Over the past several years, uh, we've had different ways of doing it, but we're kind of going back to the original way. We like to have it done by Thanksgiving, and then we keep them here usually till around Christmas and then send them home. They can actually make a really nice Christmas gift to somebody, or you, of course, can um, you know, keep them and have them for years to come because they are kind of a really neat memoir that your kids write in fourth grade that might be fun to save for graduation and stuff like that. So let's talk a little bit about the memoir. I like to start off with the goal in mind. So finished product looks like this. This is awesome Avery Zimmerman's from last year. And just to kind of give you an idea of what it looks like, um, looks a little like this. You can see Avery has some good paragraphs. Avery has wonderful pictures. You can see that she's indented. And this is in no way to get you all concerned about where your kids are right now with writing paragraphs compared to where this one is. Because remember, um, we're just at the beginning stages of working on what a really good paragraph is. So this is what we're looking for. Um, I do want to show this to you because the photo albums are, I want them to be pretty consistent, not because I don't want the kids to have their own ideas, but because I, space, uh, I like them all to kind of be the same size so that I can store them in the room for the month. Um, in a really easy way so that if the kids want to look through them then they can just pull one out, put one back in and it's it's really easy to do. These photo albums generally cost about $1.50 uh, where I get them from. I haven't priced them yet. Uh, I had a bunch uh, saved from buying them over the summer. Uh, I am going tonight to try to find them. I haven't been able to find them yet, but I will. Uh, I have a couple of different places to check. Generally, they're $1.50. I do not want you to pay me $1.50. Uh, if you bring me a dollar with one silver coin, uh, that would be great. Uh, and your kid can get this photo album. Uh, the silver coin can be a nickel. It can be a dime. It can be a quarter. I don't want anything more than that. That way, um, like I said, I'm not, I just don't want to lose my hat over these albums. Um, I know $1.50 isn't a lot, so I'm not really super worried about it. Uh, if you um, need help, just let me know. We have a lot of parents who donate a little bit of extra, and I always use that um, to buy extra photo albums for students who need need them. So please don't be afraid to, to send me a note to let me know if you, you need a photo album. We can find a way to make sure that you have that. So that's the end goal. Um, all of the kids will have this amazing product at the end uh, if they work really hard. Now, what are they going to be doing? They've probably come home and talked to you, and they're chomping at the bit to start. Tomorrow's going to be the actual first day that they can start writing at home. We haven't gone through everything yet. Um, we're still kind of working through all the parts of a fantastic paragraph. Tomorrow, we're going to be talking about concluding sentences. So we've talked about the topic sentence, the details, and the concluding sentence. Uh, on Monday, I'm going to be talking about the catchy beginner and um, that will be able to start at home. Before we get into that, hopefully you've seen this. This is their McCain Elementary Mighty Memoir packet. This is the packet that has all of the topics. They're only supposed to choose 10 topics, so hopefully they've come home and talked to you about that. Um, this is an important piece of paper because this packet on the front has all of the requirements that you need to get a good grade. Uh, and then I do also have a rubric that will be coming home in a couple of weeks so that the students know exactly what it takes to get an S, an S plus, an E, an S minus, or an N. But we won't talk about that because nobody ever gets that uh, unless they try really. You have to try really hard to get an S minus or an N on this project. I do not want this project to be stressful. Uh, if they are working on it now, they'll be done with it long before the due date. Uh, the due date is the final Tuesday before Thanksgiving. Uh, I believe it's the 26th. That seems awfully late to me, but I believe it's the 26th off the top of my head. It's on the top of the children's packets. So it's due on the 26th. They have until then to work on it. We'll be working on it for the next week or two here in class. So we'll get a bunch of paragraphs done right here and they'll have to work on the rest of it at home. I also will talk to them every week about where they should be and how they should be working on it. So that should be easy. I will let you know that, like I said, I'll be posting lots of videos so that you understand the whole process of 
how to write a paragraph, what that paragraph should look like in rough draft form, and what that paragraph should look like in final draft form. I will grade three of them here in class, and then after that, the rest of the packet, they have to model off of those three. So I don't, goodness gracious, I couldn't model 10 plus paragraph. Well, I could grade 10 plus paragraphs, but um, I really don't need to do that. Three should be sufficient, and then hopefully that ingrains into them the habit of how to write a great paragraph. So, um, this is the packet you should see starting tomorrow. This is the workshop packet. In this packet, they have their rough draft pages. Uh, and they don't know about that yet, so I'm going to hold off to say, talking too much about that. I'll save that for a future video. I do want to let you know, too, printing anything. Um, of course, if, if you're, wel you're welcome to use pictures at home for this photo album, um, I've also told the kids that they can send me emails and I can print them here so that you don't have to use like pictures in your photo album. Um, the kids can use their iPads. They can email them to me. Um, I will be teaching them how to do that. Some of the kids are already at that stage. Hopefully they've been taking pictures because I did let them know two weeks ago that they could start taking pictures at home since they picked their topics. That is a ton of information. So just know that in the kids' iPads, if they go to Schoology, they have access to, right now, this packet. Starting tomorrow, they'll have access to this packet. And any other information will be in there. Uh, I'm trying to figure out a way to at, let you access all of that information as well. So I may just email it all to you, but I'd prefer it to be stored somewhere on Schoology. That way you don't have to hold on to an email forever. All right. Um, this is a fun project. It's a big project. Ten paragraphs into a photo album to make a memoir. But boy, they work so hard. And come November, they'll have this amazing product that they'll work on both with me and with you. And hopefully it allows you and your kids to tell awesome, amazing stories about your kids. All right, that's it for now. Sorry for the long video, but uh, unfortunately, you're probably going to be getting a lot of these. So the next video, what I'm going to try to do is talk to you about this packet. And then the video after that, will have I'll show you what it looks like to write a rough draft, which isn't too hard. All right. You'll have a great and amazing day. Of course, if you ever have any questions about anything, you're welcome to shoot me a message in Schoology. Send me an email at jamespete at jennermcclain.org. Or, you know, put up smoke signals. I'm here late, as the kids always tell me. All right. I'll see you guys soon. Peace.